explain what's going on with the surge in lumber prices and who stands most to benefit. Yeah, it's, it's not just lumber. It's it's lumber, it, you know, all building material prices seem to be up, but lumber is getting a lot of attention. Uh, what's causing it is really three factors. So we've had extremely strong repair and remodel uh, demand right now. And housing, new home construction is recovering. And lastly, we've had a number of capacity shuts, mostly in Canada on the lumber side, which started last year. And so you came into the year with low lumber inventories, and then you had this really robust demand, and that's where we're at, and that's why we've got the record lumber prices. The low housing supply nationwide is behind an apparent slowdown in the number of Americans closing on homes in April. The latest numbers show a 4% decrease in sales that month. But as some of us in the Valley know all too well, demand is still incredibly high in Arizona. And that demand, driving prices here above what many can afford. Our Cameron Pullum has been exploring the changes Valley home buyers are facing. And as he now explains, it's getting to the point where some people just can't afford to buy. Hey everyone, Ryan here with FBF, Florida Boy Finance, where we, as our motto says, live below our means, save outrageously, and give generously. If you haven't noticed lately, prices are becoming more and more ridiculous. Home prices are almost unaffordably high. Copper and steel are climbing higher and higher. And if you have some extra lumber laying around, you can sell it and just about retire. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, Kinda. So what's the deal? Why is everything so expensive right now? And what does that mean for you? I'll answer these questions and more in this video. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you can be notified every time a new video posts. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Florida Boy Finance, and like my Facebook page, also called Florida Boy Finance, for behind the scenes footage and sneak peeks at new videos being posted. All right, let's get on with the video. What's with these crazy prices? I mean, prices are going up faster than the national debt under the last four presidents. The introductory package showed the prices of lumber and homes becoming more and more unaffordable. But it's not only homes and lumber. You see, companies are struggling to hire workers and deal with these rising prices of businesses, especially small businesses, which are the backbone of our economy, are struggling with these rising prices as well. A business has to operate with a certain profit margin to stay in business. I mean, after all, if they aren't making money, they go out of business. With these rising costs, small businesses are getting their profit margins hit really hard. They're having to pay more and more for their materials, but also have to be careful not to raise prices too much or people won't buy their product. It's a fine and delicate balance. Then you combine these narrowing profit margins with being shut down by the government because of the pandemic over the last year, and you have a recipe for disaster. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why so many small businesses are having to close their doors. It's not just lumber and homes that are sky high. The price of oil is at a two year high, which obviously affects gas prices. Prices of steel, lumber and other construction material is sky high as well. But these rising prices are not just related to construction. Sadly, the cost of food is going up and up as well. The cost of feed to raise animals for consumption is on the rise. And not only is feed going up, but now with the recent cyber attack on JBS, the world's largest meat supplier, these costs are just going up and up. It's not the cost of meat that's going up, but the cost of supplying meat from some of these large distributors. Go ahead and find a local family that owns a farm. I'm sure they'd be happy to sell you a cow or half a cow or a quarter cow or some other meats for half the cost of what you get to get it from these suppliers. I could go on and on for hours giving example after example of rising prices across lots of sectors, but that would make for a really long video. I think you get the point. If you get the point, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The main cause in these rising prices is related to supply and demand. Due to the pandemic, the production of these products was drastically reduced or stopped. 
This caused a disruption and reduction in the supply of these products. And so you came into the year with low lumber inventories, and then you had this really robust demand, and that's where we're at, and that's why we've got the record lumber prices. With the supply reduced and the demand being either the same or increased, the cost of these products then goes up, as we're seeing now. The next logical question would be, are these prices going to come back down or stay high indefinitely? I answered that question in a recent video I did. Check it out. It's called, Is Inflation Coming? The Fed is calling the current run of inflation transitory, which means temporary. However, Warren Buffett thinks that inflation is not just coming, but will be here to stay. Then there is Barron's, one of the most respected investment journals today, that says Warren Buffett and the Fed are both wrong. Let me give you a hint. No one knows. If you're enjoying this video, and you probably are if you're still watching, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Instead of cherry picking who is right and who is wrong, we know that inflation is here. These rising prices are mainly the result of supply and demand issues created by government imposed lockdowns from the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm going to say it louder for those in the back. These rising prices are mainly the result of supply and demand issues created by government imposed lockdowns from the COVID-19 pandemic. Does this mean that once the supply and demand issues are fixed, the prices will go back to normal? It depends who you ask. The Fed Chairman Jerome Powell is adamant that this time of inflation is transitory. And there are lots of others in agreement. The thought process is that once these supply issues are resolved and demand wanes, then prices will go back down. There are others that seem concerned that this inflation is more than just transitory and could persist for a while. As always, I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. Rising inflation is currently the result of a supply and demand issue. The supply of these products was drastically reduced by the shutdowns from COVID-19. When you combine the historically low supply with an unexpected increase in demand, you get drastically increasing prices. So the obvious question is, Ryan, so then once these supply and demand issues are resolved, prices will go back down and everything will be hunky-dory, right? Whoa! <laughs> Not necessarily. Once it gets to the point that these increasing prices for commodities cause businesses to raise their prices just to stay open, then inflation typically becomes more permanent. Once businesses raise their prices to accommodate for their rising costs, they usually don't lower their prices once their costs decrease. They typically take the higher profit margins instead. I mean, can you blame them? Most of these businesses were hurt really bad by the pandemic they need to make up all that lost money. So what does all this mean for you? Well, plan on higher prices being here to stay. Maybe not as high as they are right now, but I highly doubt the prices will ever return to pre-pandemic levels. Since lots and lots of goods and services are at an all-time high, I would only buy what you need to buy. Home prices are sky high. I'd avoid buying a home right now if you can. Car prices are getting higher and higher, again, I would keep driving that 10 year old 200,000 mile vehicle before I spent way more on a vehicle than I should. Even collectible watches are crazy high right now. So watches have gone totally crazy, right? Be beyond totally crazy. I love that channel. If you haven't seen the producer Michael channel, check it out. I love all his watches. So where was I? Oh yeah, I would recommend only spending money right now on things that you need and saving your extra cash for later. Anything you buy today is pretty much overpriced. Avoid that needless waste of spending money on things you don't need right now. I do believe higher prices will be here for a while, and things will probably never go back down to the pre-pandemic price levels. But I also don't believe these insane prices on commodities will be around forever. Eventually, you'll see prices go back down, especially related to housing and cars and other big ticket items. Save and invest your money now so you can take advantage of the prices once they eventually go back down. If you're still watching, you obviously like the video. So do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to be notified of new videos when they post. I do one new video per week, posting it every Tuesday. Please follow me on Instagram, Florida Boy Finance, and like my Facebook page, also called Florida Boy Finance, for behind the scenes content and sneak peeks on new videos. Until next time, as always, remember to live below your means, save outrageously, and give generously.